we will not talk anything in this lecture without any solid data okay this year there will be two pre-boards as you know uh, one more month later will be your board exam and everyone is worried and I am going to show you the historical record of all previous year questions then you can easily score 65 marks hello my pewtwo warriors welcome to diksha karnataka youtube channel your pre-board exam is coming near right currently you are writing your fa2 exam and then there will be pre, uh, your pre-board exam this year there will be two pre-boards as you know also after your pre-boards few uh, one more month later will be your board exam and everyone is worried uh, very badly that sir uh, there are a lot of subjects lot of topics a uh, lot of chapters to cover and i just started or if i start now now can I score 70%, uh, 80%, 60% or can I pass the exam? So we are not here for only passing the exam. Uh, here we are for discussing how can you score 65 without much difficulty. That's why we are here. Okay. So even if you start today, if you study smartly, you can score 65 marks and I am going to show you the historical record of all previous year questions. There are are not too many uh, things that you need to study if you study smartly okay so the hard work I have done uh, for you now if you follow uh, this uh, uh, video and obviously our channel subscribe to our channel if you have not yet subscribed then you should be getting 65 marks easy okay not any difficulty so first of all how many chapters you have to study we are recommending nine chapters not everything in this nine chapters some selected topics from this nine chapters if you study them then you can easily score 65 marks but uh, is there any truth about it let us start with the blueprint we will not talk anything in this lecture without any solid data okay everything will be based on solid data and previous year paper analysis that we have done all teachers have done uh, so that's why we are here to discuss first of all electric charges and fields uh, we will discuss about the blueprint first so first chapter that uh, coming into our mind the first chapter of your pew 2 syllabus electric charges and fields if you see the how many marks you can score from this chapter you can score 11 marks only by studying this chapter including one marker uh, two marker three marker and five marker everything is going to come from this chapter similarly second chapter electrostatic potential and capacitance uh, you can again score 11 marks there is small mistake i think over here it should not be two it should be one okay all of them are one again you can score 11 marks from this chapter as well now current electricity chapter the most important chapter of your pew 2 syllabus and not only pew 2 syllabus all exams that you are going to appear afterwards the all exams have this chapter the highest weighted chapter 13 marks is going to come from this chapter one marker question one two marker question one and two five marker question that means from this chapter you are going to get a, a five marker derivation as well as five marker numerical question whereas from these two chapters combined from these two chapters combined you are going to get one five marker derivation and one five marker numerical so one one this is a this is a pair chapter okay first two chapters one chapter will give you a five marker derivation another chapter will give you five marker numerical okay current electricity is the only chapter from where you are getting both derivation and numerical sorted okay now moving charges and magnetism another important chapter again 11 marks uh, you are going to get one 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 of every uh, question to one marker two marker three marker five marker everything will be one next ray optics from ray optics you are going to get two one marker question possibly one uh, mcq and one fill in the blanks and three marker and one marker question also uh, three marker and five marker questions also you are going to get from this chapter semiconductor electronics is uh, easy chapter if you study only few selected topics you can score all of the eight marks that is going to come from this chapter so one marker mc Q, one two marker question and a very predictable five marker long answer type question electromagnetic induction again from this chapter you are going to get uh, seven marks easy chapter no five marker question from here one uh, two marker question uh, one marker question two 
and one two marker and one three marker questions going to come from this chapter ac is a chapter from where you are going to get a guaranteed numerical question here you are going to get two uh, one marker question and one five marker question this five marker question will be guaranteed a numerical question wave optics again uh, seven marker question uh, 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 chapter here you are going to get two mcq or uh, uh, fill in the blanks and one five marker most probably a long answer type question okay so now again ray optics and wave optics are you can consider them a pair chapter from one of the chapter will be a theory question one of the chapter there will be a numerical question clear so this is how the paper uh, patterns looks like now here the one marker section uh, 20 questions are there apart from that all two marker three marker and five marker questions you should be able to answer by studying only these two these few chapters okay for one marker numerical uh, one marker mcq and fill in the blanks you may need to study the other chapters but otherwise you don't need to study anything else for two marker three marker and five marker even five marker also you can skip some of the chapters based on your preparedness okay so now let us move and uh, we will see all the topics from each of this chapter one by one so if you see electric charges and fields chapter coulomb's law coulomb's law is the most asked question based on coulomb's law not directly write coulomb's law but coulomb's law or formula of coulomb's law vector form of coulomb's law so coulomb's law drawback of coulomb's law so coulomb's law is the one of the most asked question it did not came in 2024 other than that it is coming consistently almost every year so four question came from this uh, from this chapter now this can be a five, uh, five marker this can be a two marker this can be a one marker mcq as well but coulomb's law is the most most important concept other than coulomb's law also properties of electric field lines right the most uh, favorite question of the students and this same question came four times again now uh, other than that these two uh, questions we also have electric field application based question mainly numericals okay electric how to apply electric field uh, for numerical questions and that came three times next is gauss's law Gauss's law came only twice, even though you have wasted a lot of time in Gauss's law, only twice it came, okay. Electric field due to a long straight wire came once as a five marker derivation. Electric field due to a spherical shell based last year, there was a numerical question based on this concept. That's it, okay. There was no dipole, nothing came in previous years. If you study last five years question paper, you will see that there was no dipole that was coming in uh, last five years. So you can safely skip dipole if you have not studied. If you have studied it, go and uh, ref uh, refresh your memory. Otherwise, you can skip it if you are starting today right so all uh, that uh, research that we have done is based on previous year papers now next is electrostatic potential and capacitance this chapter a lot of variety of questions came from different different topics so for example electric potential due to a point charge very common derivation but it only came once in 2025 before that this derivation was not there in last five years similarly potential energy application of potential energy that means numerical question that came three times Okay, equipotential surface came twice. Uh, polar and non-polar uh, molecules, so polar and non-polar molecules generally comes along with another topic as a part of two marker question and five marker question, so this came also two times. Uh, potential energy of a system of charge, it came uh, once, uh, right? Uh, uh, capacitors in series and parallel, this came once. Uh, parallel plate capacitor the most important topic of this chapter it came four times okay the relationship the derivation of uh, e is equal to db by dx that derivation came three times okay so this is one of the most important these two parallel plate ca capacitor based conceptual questions and uh, relationship between e and v are the most asked question most asked concept from this chapter next is current electricity the most important chapter but if you see the topics that is coming repeatedly are not that many okay so for example the relationship between drift velocity mobility and conductivity uh, relaxation time that based question came four times 
and uh, one uh, in 2023 this came to, uh, twice itself and then 2022 once 2020 once okay there was no question in 2024 and 2025 so maybe this year there will be a question based on this concept because this is not coming off late ohm's law and its limitation the most asked question every year there will be one question based on this concept so five times it came all five years right current and current density based question came only once now resistance and resistivity based question came three times now uh, that, uh, what is resistance to a uh, two factor on which resistance depends resistivity based near x uh, mcq question resistivity based uh, small answer type question that came three times okay cells in series and parallel that came uh, three times in 2025 there was a numerical question based on this and otherwise sometimes the derivation can also come so this is also important concept kirchhoff's law and wheatstone bridge another very very important question almost every year either it will come as a theory or it will come as a numerical okay so most of the times it came theory but there was 2024 where it came as a uh, numerical question as well so four uh, times it came so these are all the important concept from this chapter if you study all this concept you should be good to score 13 marks in your p2 uh, pre-board as well as your board exam right now if you want to uh, discuss all the chapters all your 14 chapters and only the uh, selected topics from all these chapters then definitely you should consider joining our uh, uh, crash course pu2 crash course is currently launched where all the chapters all the important chapters we will be discussing first and then we will be discussing other chapters as well and we will practice a lot of questions as well and also you will get pu2 test series along with this and the subjects that we are going to give you pcmb canada plus cs uh, live plus recorded lecture so you can come and watch at any time you will also get formula sheets, you will get complete PYQ lectures, you will get lecture notes and PDF, everything and the price is only for triple nine. Only triple nine price of peanuts, you can get a lot of uh, uh, content and absolutely it will be very, very crucial for you to score that 85 plus marks in your upcoming board exam, 85 percent marks, right? Now let's continue with other chapters. Moving charges and magnetism also another important chapter, 11 marks comes from this chapter. So Lorentz force only came twice okay motion of a charge in a magnetic field it came twice uh, force on a current carrying conductor came uh, only once ammeter and voltmeter related conversion that is the most important topic and it came four times in last uh, in last four years every year there was a question based on voltmeter ammeter conversion ampere's law came three times magnetic field due to a circular current loop uh, this came two times uh, force between parallel ca current carrying conductor this came three times so between these two derivations this one is more important but this year in 2026 my according to my experience this should come okay they are coming in alternate years okay if you see when this is coming this is not coming this is coming this is not coming so 2026 my expectation is magnetic field due to a uh, current ca carrying loop uh, uh, so if you study that you should be able to uh, score 5 derivation okay 5 marks derivation torque on a current carrying loop this came 2 times as well now let's move on ray optics the another important chapter in ray optics snell's law and total internal reflection so refraction and total internal reflection based question came all the years okay so either there will be a snell's law based question or total internal reflection based question that will be coming every year five years five mark, uh, marks guaranteed okay this year also there will be a question based on this con uh, uh, concept sign convention mirror and lenses so uh, you have seen that sign convention uh, what is sign convention draw the diagram etc it came only once okay telescope microscope based question uh, basic uh, mcq or a small uh, drawback of uh, refracting telescope etc based on that we get uh, two times f equals to r by 2 a uh, very important derivation it came three times okay so this can possibly be coming in your year as well but if you see the pattern maybe it will not come mirror and lens equation power of a lens based on the this we have c3 questions okay uh, now lens makers formula came twice and refracting index of prism angle of minimum deviation this came twice 
okay so both can uh, possibly be coming one year may be numerical as a numerical this year if the question uh, the, uh, practical question uh, numerical question is coming from this chapter maybe that will be based on lens makers formula okay so prepare this not only you have to prepare the formulas you also have to prepare numericals from it right now next is semiconductor okay uh, easy eight marks band theory and band gap based on this we have three three questions we also have seen in intrinsic and extrinsic uh, semiconductor very very important every year it is coming in, in fact in 2022 two questions came based on this concept okay so six marks uh, six questions came from this uh, concept p type and n type came only once okay differentiate between p type and n type what is p type what is n type so that only came once half wave full wave rectifier the most common question you can bank on this question okay and it came five times last five years every year and it will going to come in your year as well either half wave and or full wave both is possible okay next is electromagnetic induction uh, seven marks guaranteed if you study properly lens law of induction almost every year it came it was skipped in 2023 because in 2022 do it came twice okay so two questions was based on this concept that's why it was skipped in 2023 so we can expect one question either mcq or two marker or three marker from lens law okay inductance of self self and mutual inductance based on this is also very very important concept and we have seen five questions from this uh, concept faraday's coil magnet experiment it came twice okay ac generator uh, principle of ac generator working of uh, ac generator this came four times this is also very very important motional electromotive force it came only twice in last five years it might come this year may not be coming because it came in 2025 okay now next is <coughs> alternating current alternating current is basically where we are getting the numerical question so ac current based question came once and transformer based question is coming almost every year but this year there will be no two marker no three marker question so perhaps uh, we can expect a, a short answer type mcq or fill in the blanks question based on the transformer property and we will get a question based on the uh, lcr circuit formulas resonance condition etc numerical question based on the this concept this will definitely going to be coming this year as well okay now uh, wave optics wave optics is the last chapter uh, of our recommended nine chapters Huygens principle is one of the most asked question it can be coming as an individual two marker question or it can be asked as a part of a five marker question so that is also possible so it is coming almost every year coherence and incoherent sources it came only once uh, Young's double slit experiment, YDAC means Young's double slit experiment. Condition for maxima and minima will be uh, came three times. Diffraction came three times. Uh, Snell's law, the de uh, derived Snell's law from uh, Gauss's law, it came once. Laws of reflection, it also came once. Okay, polarization, Polaroid, and Malus law based question came five times. So these are the most important concept from all the nine chapters that we are going to discuss. So you can see that there are a lot of other concepts. For example, in the first chapter, there was no dipole related questions ever came from this chapter. But is there a guarantee that it will come? It will not come. No obviously no it might come in uh, this year as well but these are from historical facts as you can see the questions are getting repeated from some concept repeatedly okay so for from that we can say that uh, safely we can say that say that if you study these nine chapters uh, and some extra concept whatever we have mentioned if you have if you study nine chapters completely then definitely you should be scoring more than 65 plus okay that is my guarantee uh, and i can say it confidently because i have done all the research uh, of all these chapters and the concepts also listed from your previous year papers right so i uh, wish you all the best for your upcoming uh, FA2 exam as well as your pre-board exam. We will see you again in a future video. Uh, in the meantime, don't forget to join our uh, channel. If you have not yet joined, also join the WhatsApp community. The link of the WhatsApp community is given in the description section of this video. See you soon. Till then, bye.